I'm live, by the way, before you go and say anything that you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Last live, Facebook. Facebook number 16. If anybody wants to send me wine, <laughs> um, all right, no. Hello, Annalise. Get my Gatorade out of the way. Okay. Welcome back, guys. I give you full, full props for sticking with me and having, spending the day with me, spending the weekend with me, spending the whole four days with me, some of you, um, which is fantastic. Yes, I am completely knackered, Annalise. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. Um, I was just saying to Lou this morning, I think it's the, um, I probably wouldn't be as knackered if I was a little bit more organized, perhaps, and knew exactly what I was going to be creating from one live Facebook to the next, but you know, that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a little mini Christmas tag for you. Um, now Fiona's sending me messages. Fiona, yes, and I'm just replying, and I'm live. Go away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. Please. Let me sort out my social life. Um, all right. So what I thought I might do is create this little um, tag, this little mixed media tag, nice and simple, using some Lindy's Magicals, some Dusty Attic chipboard, and a stencil. Okay, let's let's do something that looks amazing, um, but not overly complicated. So these are the Dusty Attic Creative Layers, and this is number five. I did use one on my layout the other day, and they are fantastic. So that is just one packet of chipboard, and that's what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I've just got a tag. Um, I don't even know what where that's come from. Found it in my stash. And I've just got some gesso and lightly brushed it. Uh, I'm now going to add some modelling paste to the background just so that it has a little bit of dimension. And I'm using my starred stencil because it is a Christmassy stencil. And I'm just going to get rid of Fiona off my screen. Sorry, Fiona. Never. Okay. Hello, Pina. Hello, Susan and Karen. Oh, the whole gang's here. Um, all right, there we go. And voila, that looks pretty good. So just a bit of modeling paste, which is going to dry with a bit of dimension and um, some body. So I'm just going to quickly... Take that off there. Yes, I'm sure these would, I wouldn't be as knackered if I was more organized, but hey, if I was organized, guys, would this be anywhere near as fun? It's like watching a train wreck some days though, isn't it? Car crash, can't look away. Right, where's my heat tool? <laughs> On the floor. And now I'm gonna dry that off. So running that through a stencil, is has given me a a little bit, bit of a background here for it to pull on so the, oh so the reason i've i've given uh my tag some gesso is to seal the paper so that i'm going to add some water in a minute and i'm going to do like a sprinkle and spritz technique on it and make it look amazing amazing i tell you hello tina Oh, thank you. Annalise is linking the products that I'm using. Oh, I love that. Hello, Alison. I haven't spoken to you in a while. How are you, sweetheart? Um, so, yes, that was the catalyst tool that I was using. And um, I've got numerous ones of these. And as you can tell, they're a very well-used tool of mine. That's one. That's the other one. Oh, that one's slightly cleaner. I don't know, there's 
another one floating around here somewhere as well. Oh, that's the cleanest one. But what I like about the catalyst tool is that they come clean. Okay, they are an artist quality tool. So that means that they are designed to with take all sorts of punishment and that they come clean. So for example, this one that's got dried paint on it, um, that paint will just peel right off. All right, so might have got big chunks out of them. Anyway, all right, so what I thought I might do next. Yes, she is my Link Ninja. Thank you. Get yourself a job here, Annalise. Um, is I'm going to use the Lindy's Magicals on my background. Uh, I think the plan here is I've got this great piece of dusty attic chipboard and I'm going to colour my elements using the Magicals. So I've pulled out some Christmassy colours, kind of. Uh, I have got... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I think I might, I might paint these first so they can dry while I create that background. Let's let's be a grown up and think this through, just a little. So I'm just going to grab some gesso and a and a brush and just lightly seal some of this chipboard. I want to show you what happens if we seal some of the chipboard and then add the magicals over the top so i was talking about this um a few days ago when i did the live facebook um and the the difference between coated chipboard and non-coated chipboard with gesso and how it seals beautifully so because chipboard is porous um what that means is it will um it'll soak up the liquid that we're going to put on it. So I'm going to do some elements here in with gesso and some without, okay? Emma is asking, Nat, the shaker magicals are also for sprinkling or can you mix the palette like in the little pots? Oh, well, conveniently, I'm going to show you how to do that today. You're jumping the gun on me, girl. but that's okay. You've asked the perfect question. All right, so as you can see, I have added a little gesso over some of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to leave, uh, I want red for my poinsettias and I'm going to go with a couple of shades here. I've got Rizzo's Rowdy Red, Cuckoo Clock Cardinal and Wild Rose Rouge and Red Hot Poker Orange. I've got two different greens here. I have got Drop Dead Gorgeous Green, Freaky Frankenlime. Then these colours here, which is uh, Bayou Boogie Gold and California Poppy Gold and Antique Bronze, I'm going to use those on my background. So, first of all, what I want to do is... Oh, I still didn't find my spoon. After my last live. No, nah, still can't see it. Okay, let's use a dirty palette knife. That'll work. Okay, so these are the Magicals. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, Magicals are a pigment dye-based powder. So the, the pigment means it's full of colour. The dye means that it has a permanency to it. The powder means that you need to activate it to get that magic to happen. And then you can add it to any surface that you like. So I have got here, I'm going to mix a few different colours onto my flowers. Um, so this is a flat magical, which has no shimmer. Wild Rose Rouge is also a flat magical with no shimmer. Red Hot Poker Orange is a shimmery magical. This one here is a shaker. So this is exactly the same product as what is in here, but it's just got a slightly different application. And these have a shaker top that you can just shake onto your project. And all of the shakers have a shimmer to them. Oh, let's, let's add some green while I'm at it. 
So the greens are, I've got Freaky Frankenlime. which has got a shimmer. And then this one here is Drop Dead Diva. This is Drop Dead, sorry, Drop, Drop Dead Gorgeous Green. And it is from the Drop Dead Diva Magical Set. Now this is a high shine. Okay, that's got like a serious amount of glitter in it. All right, so what I want to do is I need to activate all of these. So I just use a pipette and drip in some colour. Drip in some colour, drip in some water. Oh, gosh, I don't even know what I'm talking about here. And you can start to see the shimmer sitting on top. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually just accidentally sprinkled a little bit onto my gesso in the middle there. So it's going to make my gesso pink, which is fine. give it a little stir there all right so let's test these colors before I do anything else so we've got this one here where's my bit of test card beautiful and I give it a little stir activate all of that powder oh they're very similar but that's one's that one there's the rouge that one's a bit more pink in real life this is the Cuckoo Clock Cardinal. This one is the one that's in the shaker. Oh, that's a very candy red. And then this is the Red Hot Poker Orange, which is very much that. It is bright orange. And with the greens, we've got that one. In that one so they all look very similar on camera but uh off camera they're certainly not i also want to do some my bells here need a bit of gold i forgot about my bells can't forget about my bells so the cool thing about these this product is a little bit goes a really long way so you can actually um you and you can control the the color that you're putting onto your project and balance it out with the amount of water so i can make it stronger or i could make it like the pigment stronger or i could make it more powerful so what i'm going to do is i'm going to color these elements now using uh using these so i might just do this one first so this is i'm going to color the bells and i'm just going to puddle that on top and like i said because chipboard is porous the water element is soaking up all of so the chipboard soaking up all of the water and leaving the color and the pigment sitting on top and they will actually dry a little bit lighter so now I'm going to do my poinsettias and I'm going to do a little bit of um, creative blending here mix a few colors together and the good thing is is doing it on top of this uh, while they're in the board means that I can colour outside the lines nice and easy because that's how we roll. And I'm being super lazy and I'm not even washing my brush. All right. And then the big flower in the background, we're going to do this one. We're going to make it nice, deep red. And you have to be quite, quite confident and quite quick because what's happening is it's, it's soaking in really, really quickly. So you need to be able to um, grab that color and you don't want to leave any marks you want it to be a little bit more effortless just adding a bit of shimmer to it there we go and now for the greens and what happens with the gesso is the gesso has sealed the chipboard 
allowing the color to sit on top rather than soaking in. So it's gonna create a bit of a different sort of look. This one here, I'm going to paint in gold. I might do a combination of gold and this red hot poker orange. So you can see that it's totally reacting differently with the gesso on it, and it, it you know it's not soaking in. The colours are different, and they're more vibrant. All right, so I'm going to slide those off to the side. Um, and I'm going to bring this up to camera to show you. So you can see at the moment, it's all the colours sitting on top there. And especially that green, you can see that that green has got that really, really high shimmer to it. So I'm going to pop that aside to dry and I'm going to work on this background now. So again, before I start, I want to, I reckon I might use that one as well. Um, I don't remember the full colours of, well, I do, I'm just being cheeky. You need to check and see what, you, what, what you're playing with. This is antique bronze. So this is a real um, dirty bronze, I guess. I'm just finding a piece of watercolour paper. Not watercolour paper, a bit of cardboard, but it will do the job. And I'll do the sprinkle and spritz technique to show you how this works. So, and to test out my colour to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Because I just grabbed it off the shelf and didn't check it. So the shakers have got a shaker side and a scoopy side. I never use the scoopy side because if you accidentally tip that on your page, you've just kind of got to commit to it. And then I'm going to get on and I'm going to activate that colour. And it is lovely. It is a really lovely antique bronze. This one is called California Poppy Gold. And I want to use this one as well. Now, the, I've just realised I've actually picked up a piece of cardboard. Now, this one is a really lovely gold as well. So you can kind of get a bit of a gist there on what we're working with. Right. So what I want to do is I now want to add some colour to my dried tag. So I'm going to sprinkle and spritz up the top and down the bottom. And I have a paintbrush handy somewhere here we go and I'm going to activate that now and I'm going to push it around with my brush and I'm going to take a little out of here in this gold since I've got this puddle here that I can work with And it's quite wet now I'm going to sprinkle on some California poppy gold or a lot as the case may be and I'm just going to use my brush to spread it out a bit so you can see all these little dark bits coming out and that is because Bronze is not a true colour. It's made up of lots of different colours. So to get this particular shade of bronze, this antique bronze, they had to mix together a whole heap of different coloured pigments. And that would include blues and pinks. So this is a real blue-based brown. And then the last thing I'm going to do is grab a fan brush and add some of this Bayou Gold. I do love that Lindy's have got the coolest names for their products. So
So Lindy's have been around, um, they have been around for 25 years. Lindy's are based in the States. They are a family business. They are, they produce, package everything in a, in a garage in Washington, Washington State. They are a family business and I love that and that is why I continue to work with this company. It was started by Tracy's mum, Lindy, and Lindy has since passed on, but Tracy is still running the company true to her mother's word and I think that that is absolutely fantastic. So now... I've activated that powder every time I've added it on, making sure that I don't have any dried chunky powder bits anywhere. And I've got this really amazing, really amazing color graduation going on. Welcome Robin, you've missed the start. That's okay, you'll be able to go back and watch it up. And hopefully by the end of the week, after we've finished packing orders, you'll be able to head over to my YouTube channel and replay them on YouTube as well. God, I sound like one of those people. You can watch it on my YouTube channel. I'm not one of those people, by the way. And I mean like one of those influencers that you see on TikTok and all of those fancy places. So now I'm going to dry this off completely and then layer on my chipboard. Um, Louise, would you grab for me some white seam binding, please, when you have a moment? Um, so the Magicals come in, you can buy them in singles in the shakers. We do have a few sets available as well. So for example, if you're wanting to do a Christmas project, this is the Jingle Bell set. This comes in that white ribbon by the meter. Uh, yep, off the shelf. Off the shelf. Um, so you can get them in the sets as well. So for example, this is the Jingle Bell set, Silent Night Silver, Frolic in the Forest Black, which has a gorgeous green undertone to it, um, Rudolph's Red Nose, Frosty Forest Green, and Golden Sleigh Bells. Um, this also comes in a spray. So just a point while I'm still drying this, thank you, is that the, um, the magicals need to be activated. The only thing they're really not designed to do, they're not really designed to go into spray bottles for you to turn into a spray. And that is because they have, oh, have a binder to them that will bind it to your nozzle and make your... Um, make your nozzle block up. So that's why Lindy's do a spray and a magical in around the same sort of colors. Okay. So the whole idea is that the spray and the magicals are a different product. So don't put the, don't put the sprays as don't put the magicals in a spray bottle um, and try and make up a spray because it just won't work to your advantage. So I'm just drying these off, so it's going to make them easy to pop out. And you'll notice that the long strip here that I put the gold on, the gold has, um, it looks like it's its not there, it's disappeared. But it is sitting there, it, it looks actually pretty great. It's the shimmer that's sitting on top, and that's what we are after. So just drying those off and we're done. Is that dry? Yes, I'm not going to burn my hand now. All right, so the other thing I want to do very quickly is I want to add some ribbon to my tag. So we've got this seam binding, which is super inexpensive, about a dollar a metre. Um, and it's the crinkle ribbon, that's what it's called, crinkle ribbon. And what I want to do is I want to colour this up. So I can do the same thing. I can sprinkle and spritz on top of it. So I'm going to sprinkle. And spritz. Or I can make up a wash in here. Which is probably the smarter thing to do. But it's Sunday afternoon. 
and I'm going to dump that into there and it's going to soak up all of that colour. And you know what? We can soak up some of that too. All right. Oh, you know what? I might just add a little bit of a little bit of that one. Right, what I then do is I screw it up in here in a piece of paper towel and it soaks out all of that excess liquid. Unfold, unfold, unfold. Put that in the bin. And voila, I have my crinkle ribbon. So, and at this point you can choose to make it as crinkly as you want to. So I then just fluff it up like this. Ow. Probably should have done it in red. Because it's pretty much the same colour as my tag. So let's, let's whack it in the red. Yes or no? Um, stop it. Let's just commit to it, hey? Oops, and the gesso. Don't know how it's going to look, but, you know, to quote Natalie May, let's just trust the process and see how bad it can go. Do the same thing take out any excess liquid and just helps dry it off a bit quicker and it doesn't stain your hands so much -da. oh that's better oh whoops sorry got a bit too excited then heaps better and there's a bit of bonus gesso in there as well and that is so pretty Okay, dry, dry, dry. So this stuff's only about a dollar a meter. Um, fantastic, really, really. I bring it in from the States. It's lovely to use. Uh, my tag here has got a big wet spot on the corner. I'm just gonna dry that from under there. Obviously that's the bit where I didn't add um, gesso to it. Hello, Chrissy Mannix, welcome. <laughs> Emma Shaw, sorry. But I do love coloring my own ribbon to suit my projects. Okay, let's put this baby together. Couple of things I want to use. I want to use my stapler, my tiny attacher. And I want to get my glue ready to go. Yep, beautiful. I'm going to punch all of these bits out here. Do I want to add any stamping on my background? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. How bad can it go? Famous last words. So this is my on the grid stamp designed by me. And just adding a little bit of interest around the page and it's adding a little bit of depth to it as well the other thing is is you can stamp on this seam binding too which rocks everything okay let's just punch these babies out so i'm just going to pull that aside i'm thinking it's going to go there punch out my flowers being a bit gentle with them because they're still a little wet a little damp just a little dampness so pretty that one that one is gorgeous that's mixing a couple of colors together my little bell I might do those last. Bell. 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 Hey, 
How good's that? Can you see it? Am I lining it up properly? So pretty. Out you come. Right, done. In the bin. So I'm just gonna bring these up to camera to show you how they look. So here's the two greens. Sitting on top, so you can see that they're green and that shimmer is just divine. Shutting some windows there, Lou. It's turning cold. Getting a bit cold. That cool change is coming through. And here are my three flowers. Can you see that gold sitting on top? Bloody love it. And my little bells. I'll put them on the back of my nana hand. They are there. All right, so I am going to, I'm just going to grab a bit of string. Hold that thought. All right, so let's put this baby together. I love stapling chipboard, so I'm just going to go... On. Let's let's do this first. <laughs> right, secured that in place. I'll come back off, come back and tie that off properly in a moment once I I'm ready, but I want it to kind of sit through the middle. Now, I'm going to staple that on. I might pop a little glue on the back and do the right thing and stick it on properly. Look at that. It's the perfect height for this tag. Can you see all that colour in that tag and that shimmer? It's bloody awesome. All right, and now I'm going to staple that. And I'm putting the staples here because this is where all my flowers and all my embellishments are going to go. So my staples are all going to be covered up. But staples make an awesome little um, embellishment anyway, so... Lots of things I can add here. If I had some little resin embellishments or frames, I could put those on. If I had um, flowers, like real poinsettia flowers, I, not real, but, you know, real, real, I could put those on, um, paper flowers. There's lots of things that you can add on. But what I'm going to do is this. That one's going to go there. I'm going to layer that off the top so let's crack out some foam tape I was going to use glue but I think I'm going to go with foam tape so that it has just a little bit of height <sighs> now I'm just reading all your comments so these are a great little um, a great little chipboard set. Everything's on it, ready to go. You just got to colour it. Done. Doing little baby triangles here. You know what? It's probably gonna take me longer to cut all the foam tape than make the tag. How funny is that? But I do like the dimension that the foam tape gives. It's like that effortless pop. And that's what we like.
The leaves are always added last because they're the thing that I can slide and tuck and I pop those in last because it's all about balance and about seeing where they go. Now, I don't want to layer that perfectly. I want it to sit off a little bit. Oh, and it's the wrong one. Bugger, I've committed to it. I could actually do that, couldn't I? Which is probably what it's designed for. But do I want to do that or do I want to do that? I'm pretty sure I want to do that. Just chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Sorry. It's my brain doing this thing. Might be here for a while while it's doing its thing today. All right, that one. I'm gonna double foam tape this one for height. Come on, get in there. That's better. I'm finding that's a bit long. I've solved the problem, cut it off. because I've taped it so well. Okay, what am I gonna do here? My bells, my bells, my bells. Bit of string. So I wanna tie my bells to my ribbon. Please enjoy watching me struggle with this while I try and tie this off. going to work. Okay. I'm going to need a pair of tweezers for this because my man hands won't cope. That goes up there. Take my bell, tie it off. How you doing, Lou? <laughs> Two, and I'll position these in a moment, but I wanted them tied around that ribbon. Investing in a very good pair of tweezers is everything. I've had these tweezers probably 20 years. I've lost them a hundred times and back again. Um, they are great tweezers. Um, I've got a whole heap of different tweezers online. Um, highly recommend grabbing any of the sorts that I've got in stock because I have a set of all of them open somewhere 
because that's what we do. Now I'm gonna take that knot and tie it around the back because I don't want the big bow showing. I just wanna tie it off. There's lots of different variations of, of ways that this could have gone. Um, I could have tied off a big bow on the front here and I still can, um, but I want to take my little bells here I slide them. That one needs to go that way a bit. Like that. Right, this guy here. So this is a little Merry Christmas word. And I love that it's burnt into the wood. I think that that's great. So I think that I might just pop him on there like that. But I'm going to pop a bit of gold on it first. just to give it a little bit of a sheen. And then what's happened is all of the shimmer has gone into the, into the words, into the gaps. So that bit of foam tape, see, comes in handy, sticking it on the back of your finger. Except for, it's not sticky. Oh God, I'm fading fast here. There we go. By George, she's done it. Oh, look, and a whole heap of you stuck by that too. Welcome, congratulations. I'll bring it up to camera in just a sec and show you. Get out of there, you little freeloader. Okay, so there you go. Creating um, a tag using the Dusty Attic, what are they called? Creative layers. So that's off of one packet of chipboard. Um, there's also this one available too, which has got the tree and the sleigh and it says Christmas Eve on it and the stars and a present and some reindeer. Um, so they are really well priced and they are currently sitting at 15% off because everything, 15, everything Christmas is 15% off until the end of today. Magicals are also 15% off until the end of today as well as alcohol ink, Washi tape and the Dina Wakeley collage papers are all 15% off as well. So plenty of bargains to be had still. Plus there's still a few things left in our show specials and our paint bundles and Christmas card bundles as well. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for all your support this weekend. You guys have shopped up a storm like there's no tomorrow. Um, and we will be spending the next three, four days packing orders and getting them out to you. So um, please be patient with that. If you are local to Adelaide, your orders will be ready for collection from the Super Studio from Thursday, um, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Please, uh, I'll be putting up the hours up on the website to show you. Um, I know it's sideways, but you need to see all the detail. Uh, so there will be plenty of um, opportunity for you to pick those up. Um, but I won't be contacting all of you to let you know. How good's that ribbon look? Uh, so today I've used the Magicals in a couple of different ways on chipboard on our tag in the background and doing lots of bits and pieces so um thank you to all of you who stuck with me with 16 live facebooks in four days um i am sick of the sound of my own voice and you guys are probably sick of it too but i do thank you for your support louise and i are very very grateful indeed all right guys that's enough from me Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, get vaxxed, chat soon.